Hello everyone, welcome to the Common Sense Academy. Today we're gonna to watch a video out of the UK of a woman uh, having an incident with the police where she cites all kinds of sovereign citizen nonsense. She says the United Kingdom is a corporation. She brings up 5G, she brings up radiation and she calls the coronavirus pandemic a hoax. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer, your host. If you like my content, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Subscribing to this video is a great way to support the show for free. I will always make this content for free. However, it does take a significant uh, amount of my time, a time investment to make these videos, come up with the content. I'm also working on a book for everybody, so please, Give me some support for free. Subscribe to the show or share this video with somebody you may like. Now, before we watch this video, let's do the same time sip. Oh, crap. I forgot my drink. Hold on one second. That was not planned, but maybe I should plan it next time. Anyway, raise your cup, your glass in the air. Look, Dro drinks water too. He's not just an unhealthy glutton 90% of the time. Raise your cup, your glass in the air. Cheers with me. It tastes better when we sip together. All right, enjoy this video. Unfortunately, we've got to go with what government guidelines say, and you can't just park up on these car parks. No, there are car parks, madam. Pardon? There are car parks. We what do you What them. do you mean by we can't? Why can't you park on the car park? That's what they thought. <laughs> That's a question. It's a genuine question. Home. I'd like to know you what you're. You should you're... be at home. Well, I'm indoors. At yeah. Home. <laughs> Where's your resi place of residence? Is your, your vehicle? I don't have a residence. But you don't normally reside here. So all right, we we've been we've been wanting to talk to you guys for ages, hence it's asked for a meeting with you. Because as far as we're aware, Juliet, you can't really enforce policies from a bankrupt government. Well, then your policy that makes you. Until we're told otherwise, we've just got to do what we're So you done. take your instructions from the government. Yes, you don't work under government common government law. Is that is that correct? Jersey, is that what you're saying? We've been asked to try and educate the public on government guidelines. That's exactly what and that's we're doing. Yeah. What your registration is. Sorry? No, don't. You don't need to answer anything. I know. It wouldn't be there if it wasn't, so... Can we try Juliet India? We're here to, we're here to educate, and we know that this is all a bit of a hoax just to bring down the entire planet, and that's exactly what it's done. And we've asked to have a meeting with you guys because we hope that you'd be more peace officers, which is actually keeping the peace, and not policy officers, which is enforcing government. Mm -hmm. And your government that you work for is actually a private corporation, so you're not actually working for people anymore, you're working for a private corporation. I can give you the, well, the Dun & Bradstreet numbers on that letter there. So unfortunately, we don't have a contract okay, with you, you guys. And what we'd like, because we know you're decent people, is to understand the difference between enforcing a policy and enforcing the law, which is common law, and common law is just to do no harm. And there needs to be someone who's moment, injured. Are dying that, pandemic, under, that, like, pandemic, okay? that pandemic, that pandemic, that pandemic is not real. Public, we are trying to, yes, if you want to walk into hospital right now and see that, <coughs> that We've been to the hospital. hospital. <laughs> you're, 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 <laughs> we had a look for ourselves. Okay? And so is hundreds of people. educate the public, okay? I think we were... To keep people alive. Yeah. Family from home to lose other members. Well, we're keeping our distance. Okay, we're respecting what you are asking, but doing. parking okay, here, so working, doing, doing these today. letters. What we're doing here now we're is writing notice of liabilities that are going to hold the government liable for their actions. Because what's happening is we're turning into a Nazi state here. We should be able to not be harassed when we're just at a park. Now, I understand through the education they've given you that you think that you're doing right. Um, we're not harassing people, we've area. been asked to approach people and speak to people, see what they're up to, what the purpose of their journeys are today. Okay? Our purpose That's is we're working here, these are our offices. 
you've shown us letters and you're trying to argue with us. We're not, we're not arguing with you. We just we actually want a meeting with you to describe. To. Yeah, we want to talk to you. We want to sit down with you guys yeah, and explain this because we need you. Got an address that they're linked to. This is care of. You know, I'm not going to give you my details, and you can keep looking for them, but I've not injured anybody. Um, insured, it's all in order. Registered out of area in Sussex. You know that that really is quite criminal. What you've done there. I've handed you a letter to explain what's happening. It wasn't for you to take my details from. I've injured absolutely nobody here. I've I'm committed no crime. Well, why is she radioing through things? You know, it's just. I, I I respect you guys, but I don't right want to. You don't. You work for private. Yeah, you don't. You work for Dun and Brad. You, you, the Dun and Brad Street numbers on there. That means the last time we looked, it was a company like IBM that run the, uh, the police. They're not. You're not working for a public capacity government. You're working for a private corporation. And we've we've not. I'm not upset. I just. We, we've been desperate to speak to you guys we're about this because we need you guys to understand the difference. It's not going to be us that you need to speak to, though. Sure, we are, we're asking to speak exactly. to. So, trying well, to like, think, he might respond to you and give us all this say information. Say we it's all you, yeah, he might stand to respond to you. Well, but you need to know because you can't have plausible really deniability not, anymore. If you're breaking own. the law, which you are. I'm not breaking any law. Well, neither you are, are I. You are, yeah, you are, because you're not even working for the public anymore. You work for a private corporation. I've got no, I don't need to give you any details because I never I signed anything. She did. She's not demanded yeah, yeah. your details. She just yeah, took yeah. them off there. She's yeah, just done checks. She wants to find out my vehicle's registered, all this. Yeah, we have, we have a right to do that. <clears throat> if I've injured someone or committed a crime, yeah. yeah. Not necessarily. We'll come and chat to you because uh, eventually we need you to help. <laughs> you know. the information we've got, sweetheart. You actually work for IBM Computers. Mm. They own the and we have not signed anything with them. The you don't. don't. <laughs> you don't. The government. The government. The government are a private corporation. How long do you plan staying here? We move around. We don't really. Let's find the the number here. Dunham Brad Street two one three two seven four eight five nine. That's who you're registered with. See, that's not. If you were a pri if you were a work for the public, you wouldn't be registered as a corporation. So we don't want. You know, we really respect you guys for the work you do, but we need you to be peace officers and not help this global takedown because it's only going to affect your families. You know, none of your families are ever going to earn a living or anything. Order. Just be a bit mindful of what the government is trying to enforce. We, of course, we work and on this so and much and the other all around. day, every day. Just we work on this every day. We're more knowledgeable on this coronavirus than you are, I'm afraid. Because of the virus. We're not anyone near. We don't even fight these people with the. Can I explain something to you? Yeah. See cool. that? Give me up you've got on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it's a really it. good point. That's Tetra. And it shouldn't be near it's us. That 17.5 gigahertz chucks out that thing in microwave radiation. I've just written a whole notice of liability suing people using it. That's more dangerous than the coronavirus because it's beaming out microwave radiation on us. So are as well. Tetra yeah. is terrible. Yeah. We've, you, so many people died in the police force because of Tetra. These people Listen, are not on your side. Just do yourselves a favour. If, if need be, if someone else comes along, just move on. No, I don't think we'll move on. We'll chat to them and we'll explain we this. Because we can, we can give tickets, but we don't want to. Well, we won't pay them because we, we're just... <laughs> well, we're just we, we know how to pay them. There's no money in this world, so you just write on them accepted value and send them back. We are, we've studied the laws 20 years now. We do know what we're talking about, and I'm saying are this you, because... Are you, I don't know your name. I've never, I know you've been around here a few years. I've, I've not met you before. No, I've come yeah. from Brighton because there's a lot of activists here who know what's going on, so I come to work with them. I don't take a day off. I'm not relaxing. I'm working every single so day. So are you making sure this lady's okay while she's down here? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's my protection. And how long do you plan to stay in? I don't. I just take each day as it comes. As it you comes. could lock us down next week and then we're completely screwed. And I really hope that for your own family's sake that you realise what's going on here. It's got nothing to do with a virus, I promise you. This is this has happened for the planet. To yourself, All the small okay. businesses have yeah. gone. Thank you for listening. I really, really appreciate your time. Right. Thank have you. you You're amazing. Barry no? He's in Devon here. He'll... <coughs>
He's a microwave weapons expert. He talks about Tetro. If you go on, go on to YouTube, uh, Barry Trow, if you remember it. Have you seen What's that? Exactly what that says, What's the site? What, uh, like a phone tower? No, the, the guys in the vans. Yeah. Yeah, I've noticed them, yeah. Your biggest yeah. concern, virus-wise, are these phone, phone towers. Please, please, please. <coughs> Just see what that Tetra's doing to you and the people that you stand next to. People are a lot with cancer now. Thank you for being so amazing and listening. Thank you. Not all the police are going to be as cracked because you've been. Well, this is why we need to speak to Sean because this is our notification. So we said yeah. Okay. Where would we go? You 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 kind of you sort of squeezing us into. We were at the moors earlier and we had the police following us. We don't want to live in a Nazi state, and I'm sure you guys don't either. We keep ourselves to ourselves. We don't like people normally. We don't talk to the public because they're so brainwashed, it's painful. We, we don't go around talking to people. I promise you. Just look, keep yourself Thank you for being so amazing. Thank you. I think that this lady in this transaction with the police brought up every single hoax that is out there. Not only is she a sovereign citizen, she's talking about the Tetrarch, which I'm not sure what that is. Looks like the 5G conspiracy. Uh, uh, maybe a, doesn't believe in the coronavirus. I think the coronavirus is going to be the next big uh, conspiracy theory. We're going to hear about this for years from the sovereign citizens, QAnon types about the uh, about the coronavirus conspiracy theory. Flat earthers. Oh man, I don't know where to start with this woman. One thing I can say is the UK is starting to give the United States a run for its money when it comes to sovereign citizens. I don't know if that's true or not, but all these UK videos are popping up. Uh, I guess they're coming out of the woodwork now because of the coronavirus lockdown orders. So it appears this whole transaction is over a car parking issue, something about can't park at the car park i can't really tell because it's hard to hear the police now this woman's putting up on her video she put up little blurbs there okay and at one point the police are trying to get her to answer questions and she says and, and she puts in her blurbs that would create joinder so i recently researched this issue for my book with sovereign citizens they believe there's the straw man i may have brought this up before but they believe there's the straw man and the real person Person. The straw man is created by your, your social security card and has a secret bank account associated with it that the government steals from you, okay? But anyway, there's the straw man, which is the paper you and the real person. Joinder is when those two mix, right? So if the sovereign citizen consents or answers questions or recognizes the authority of the government, they believe that the straw man merges with the real person and then the government gets jurisdiction and authority over you. So everything they do is to keep those two entities separate. The real person and the straw man have to stay separate. Um, this stuff spreading to the UK. Oh man. Oh man. She says at one point, I don't answer to the gov. You don't answer to the government. You answer to the common law, the common law. Um, that's a common sovereign citizen line. She then tells these officers that the common law is just do no harm, do no harm, do no wrong. Incorrect. Wrong. Okay wrong. The common law has a long history in British law and then transferred over to American law and it used to cover all sorts of laws. It was never do no harm, do no wrong. Oh, and sorry, it, it looked throughout this transaction that actually um, it's about breaking the stay at home order. So a parking issue and a stay at home order sort of mixed up. That's why the police were confronting this man and this woman. Um, the, she says the UK is a corporate Operation. That's interesting because all the theories I read are from the American perspective. And they say the United States is a corporation. 
And part of the myth for American sovereign citizens is that the queen and England still controls the United States. But if the UK is a, cor is a corporation and the US is the corporation, who's pulling the strings behind those two? Uh, who knows? Apparently it's Bill Gates if you, if you see a lot of, of the stuff that's coming out now. But they, they can't both be correct, okay? The, the American sovereigns and the UK sovereigns, they can't both be correct because the American sovereigns say the UK sovereigns are the ones pulling the strings. Uh, she says at one point she's going to hold the government liable. I'd like to see you try, lady. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, she also puts up in her blurbs, they're trying to create a contract, goes back to the concept of joined or the police. If you talk to them, if you acknowledge them, if you consent, I do not consent. If you consent, you give them that power. You merge the straw man with the real person. Total BS, but it's what they believe. Okay. Um, so she wouldn't give any details. She didn't want to give her name because she thought she'd be creating a contract. She says no injury, no crime. Another common myth of the sovereign citizens. Not only does there not have to be an injury for there to still be a crime, that was true even under the common law before statutory law was as popular and pervasive um, as it is today. Uh, she talks about this Dun and Bradstreet number. I'm not sure what this is, but I looked up Dun and Bradstreet a little bit. Seems to be like a business analytics company. Oh, so the badge number or the police number is actually a Dun and Bradstreet uh, registry number. That's kind of like a social security number. This has a UK flavor to it. They say, oh, the police are working for a corporation. They have this corporate number that's connected to this real corporation done in Bradstreet. She keeps saying, we respect you guys. We respect you guys. Obviously you don't because you're not showing it. Okay. Um, she then says, we work on this all day, every day. We work on this. Um, and, and she studied law for 20 years. Can you imagine studying fake law for 20 years? I mean, can you imagine it? Please lady, you're part of an ideological cult break free. And she's here trying to break these officers free, um, telling her that they need to have plausible deniability and she's actually training them. Sorry, listen, you are the brainwashed ones. Trust me, you are the brainwashed ones. You don't have a sense of history. Um, she says that she wrote a notice of liability, which seems to be in regard of this Tetrarch thing that she's bringing up, the radiation from they, she talks about the officers, I guess their radio and their body cam, etc. Sorry that I'm looking down. Um, her body cam, okay. Uh, lady, get off the 5G, please. Get off the 5G, okay. Uh, oh, and then when they say that they're gonna give her a ticket, she's write something paid on it and send it back. Yeah, look, that doesn't work. It just means that they don't arrest people over traffic, over, um, I'm sorry, parking tickets, okay? It doesn't work. That ticket is out there. Trust me, it's waiting for you, and it really may come back to bite you one day. I'm an attorney. I see it happen to my clients all the time. Trust me. Um, then she says she came to Brighton because there's activists here. This sounds like, is is Brighton, I, I don't know enough about the UK and the names, etc. I don't know exactly where she's talking about because then the video says Devon. I don't know the UK locations, but it worries me that this is an area of sovereign citizen, uh, of sovereign citizen activity. It Maybe it's like Keene, New Hampshire, a whole town out of their minds. And then at one point she tells them, go on to YouTube. That's where she got her 20 year fake legal education on YouTube. Lady, you're killing me. You are killing me. Um, but what bothered me the most about her was her condescending higher road voice. Oh, oh, I know. Okay. We're just trying, we're just trying to help you. We're just trying to help you. The gentleman she was with had it too. Okay. And that I, I didn't like that voice, very condescending, very rude to the officers. And when you're standing there telling them that you respect them, it's obviously, it's obvious that you don't when you use that kind of language. 
So I, I hope everybody enjoyed this. The UK Sov Sit stuff seems to be on fire right now. Or maybe that's it's just anecdotal. I'm just seeing it. But um, you know, God bless both of our countries. Maybe we can we can do something about this. But thank you for tuning in to the Common Sense Academy. Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. Check out my cool t shirt here. Okay, I've had this t-shirt since I was a kid. Marines never go die. They go to hell to regroup. I don't know. It's it's the most comfortable t-shirt I had, probably because I've had it for like 20-some years. Um, but yeah, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Really looking to get subscriptions right now. Support my show by subscribing. It's completely free. I'm here to demystify and be a bug in the eye of the sovereign citizens. Thank you for tuning in.